This is just a quick video to show you how to set up the Evolution R210CMS miter saw. Evolution kindly provided me this miter saw to review but I want to show you guys how to set it up because I've just checked it and it does need setting up as it comes out of the box. To set the saw up you're going to need the following pieces of equipment. You're going to need a 5mm Allen key, a 3mm Allen key, 10mm spanner, you're going to need a small square with a 45 angle and this is the best thing I can find to do it and you're also going to need a small 90 degree set square. Make sure it's unplugged. The first thing that we're going to check is that the blade is at 90 degrees to the fence. So if you just slide your set square along till it touches the blade, make sure that it's not in contact with any of the tungsten carbide teeth at this end if I put my camera there you can see there's a gap so it's not at 90 degrees to the fence and to adjust this there are two set screws at the back there's one on the left hand side which is just next to the point where the hold down goes and then there's one on the right hand side you can just see there that that's if I put the camera directly over it that's slightly elongated which allows you to slide the table backwards and forwards on either side and I'll show you how we adjust that now so these both need to be slackened off with a 5mm allen key now can you see how that table can tilt either way so it only needs to be enough to allow you to do that so I'm going to nip these up slightly just so that they're just touching so that I've got some resistance and they'll stay in position when I've moved them so once you've done that push the set square against the table adjust the fence till you get it in the right position now that looks perfect to me so as you can see we're against the fence and we're flat against the blade so I'm going to tighten that up at that that means then that anything we cut is going to be at 90 degrees to the fence the next thing I want to do is to make sure the blade is perpendicular to the table now it's the same principle as we did with the fence make sure it's flat on the base push it up against the blade and then if I zoom in you'll see that we've got a gap at the bottom and it's touching the blade at the top so I need to tilt the blade that way in order to get that square so in order to make this adjustment we've got to come across to the right hand side of the machine where the motor is if I'll pan back a bit you'll be able to see it so come to the side of the machine where the motor is and down there you'll see we've got a little locking nut and a set screw and that's what we've got to adjust but before we adjust it we've got to slacken off this bevel clamp so that we've got free movement of the saw we need to take our three millimeter allen key and if I Can you see as I turn that that the saw is moving? So we need to adjust that, making sure that this locking nut doesn't prevent us from putting it where we want it to go until we get it vertical. So I'll bring the camera around and show you that from the front. So from the front you can see as I turn the Allen key the saw is moving. So we need to set that so it's vertical. Now it won't move back on its own so you need to pull it back the other way I'm going to pull it back a little bit too far and then I'm going to adjust it slowly across where I want it to be to get it vertical. So I'm putting my set square back in. I'm going to turn the set screw now. Now you can see that it's moving that saw up and we want no light between the blade and the set square. Now that looks absolutely spot on. So we've got to clamp that in position and then we'll check it again once we've clamped it in position. So the way I clamp it is into position is to put the Allen key in and don't move it. Slide the spanner along the Allen key. Right, so we've got the spanner on the Allen key. Keep the Allen key steady and then tighten it. It's a little bit awkward to get in. You can see that that set square is against the blade all the way. So that means now then if we make a chop cut it's going to cut it 90 degrees this way and 90 degrees that way. So the last check we've got to make with the miter saw is to put it at a 45 degree bevel 
and make sure that the 45 degree bevel is correct. So in order to do that, the first thing we've got to do is to slide this fence back. And you'll notice that we've got like a, we've already got a beveled angle on the bottom fence. So pull it back out the way, slacken off the clamp at the back, and then tilt the blade over till it stops, which should be 45 degrees. Now this is going to be really difficult to film, but I'll do my best. I have an old Stanley set square. We're touching there at the bottom of the 45 degree section and we're off at the top so the blade wants to come this way towards the top you've got exactly the same setup on the left hand side of the saw as you've got on the right hand side of the saw and the one on the left hand side of the saw is the one that adjusts the 45 degree bevel stop slacken off the locking up I'll put it over at 45 degrees. Now this is going to be quite fiddly for you guys to see. So there we go. We're in there with an Allen key. I'm going to move the camera around to the front so you can see what's happening when I turn the Allen key. Let me turn the Allen key now. I've just got to find it around the back. There we go. Now look, you can see as I'm turning that that the saw is moving. So it might need a helping hand a bit, but I'll get the camera in there so you guys can see it. Yep, yeah, that's spot on. So we can pull this back up, clamp it back down again, slide this fence back where it should be, clamp that back down again. We've set up 90 degrees this way, coming out from the fence, 90 degrees that way from the fence upwards. We've done the 45 degree bevel angle with the blade tilted over to 45 degrees. So that is a saw set up now. I'll just do one final check. Yep, that looks fine. And that looks fine. So that is a saw set up and ready to go, and it should give you lovely accurate mitres. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video and thank you for watching.